please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any more outstanding quotes. A good poem is a contribution to reality. The world is never the same once a good poem has been added to it. A horrid alcoholic explosion scatters all my good intentions, like bits of limbs and clothes over the doorsteps and into the saloon bars of the toriest pubs. An Anglo-Welsh writer is neither one thing nor the other. He keeps going in a no-man's land between two cultures. And here I am now, at the very moment of such an odious, though respectable, danger. And I am dumb to tell the crooked rose, my youth is bent by the same wintry fever. Because their words had forked no lightning they, do not go gentle into that good night. Curse, bless, me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Don't be too harsh to these poems until they're typed. I always think typescript lends some sort of certainty. At least, if the things are bad then, they appear to be bad with conviction. From August to May, for a sea rat of man drifting through eternal blue, aboard the finest debris. From poles of skull and toe the windy blood, slides like a sea, nor fenced, nor staked, the gushes of the sky. Go on thinking that you don't need to be read, and you'll find that it may become quite true. No one will feel the need to read it, because it is written for yourself alone. He who seeks rest finds boredom. He who seeks work finds rest. I can with ease become an ordinary fool. I may be one now, but it doesn't do to upset one's own vanity. I knew, in fact, that I must be a writer of words, and nothing else. I love you every second, of every hour, of every day and night. I used to think that once a writer became a man of letters, if only for a half hour, he was done for. I'm not a countryman, I stand for, if anything the Aspidistra, the provincial drive, the morning cafe, and the evening pub. Never be lucid, never state, if you would be regarded great. No honest writer today can possibly avoid being influenced by Freud. Poetry is not the most important thing in life. I'd much rather lie in a hot bath reading Agatha Christie and sucking sweets. Reading one's own poems aloud is letting the cat out of the bag. Somebody's boring me. I think it's me. The first poems I knew were nursery rhymes, and before I could read them for myself, I had come to love just the words of them, the words alone. The function of posterity is to look after itself. The ugly, lovely, at least to me town is alive, exciting, and real, though war has made a hideous hole in it. What if I'd been a sailor? I think it might have ended well. Whatever talents I possess, may suddenly diminish or suddenly increase. 
When one burns one's bridges, what a very nice fire it makes.